Welcome back to lesson number 18. It is octave time. Um, if you don't recall, octaves are the exact same notes. So you have two different E notes. But one is here, one is here. Or, here's an E octave. Octave, octave, okay, but the uh, thing with octaves that we're going to do is actually create musical stuff that can be played on your own or when somebody else is playing some chords with you and you'll know right what to play, but this is um, stuff that will actually take you into any direction you want, even with the styles of you know, that kind of thing. But it's also very jazzy, or country, or blues. Um, you can be in the key of E again. Scatting, um, you can check out what that is. I have scatting lessons also. Um, the king of scat back in the day, um, Louis Armstrong, uh, yeah, him, Billy Holiday, um, those cats, you know, <laughs> and cadets would do it. Okay, octaves come into forms again because of the way guitar is tuned in that goofy B string the way it's tuned. Okay, so right now I just showed you what it sounded like with a droning E string. So this is nice to have playing when you're trying to figure out how all this octave stuff goes. Okay, because I played it and then I went So it's nice to have that little background thing, so that's what I'll teach you first, and then I'll show you some more stuff. Um, so the octave here will be the E. So we're going to have actually three octaves because we have a low one. But what we're looking for are the ones that are, there's a, a one fret in between them. So you'll do the A string with your first finger and then with your pinky or your ring finger whatever feels best i like using the pinky you do whatever you want but the thing is eh, we'll f i'll show you both ways i like to play them with a thumb and a finger and just skip over the d string all together okay for this particular part of learning it okay so you have seven on the a and then nine on the g and then you got the low E string. So what I did there was let the low E ring. I hit simultaneously these two. And then I hit them again, moved them from seven to nine. 
and then from 9 to 11. So that's going from the 1 to the 2. I'm not adding a third in there or even a fifth, just octave, so it doesn't matter if it's major or minor. Up to the third. And this here actually is going to basically count the scale out. Okay, so the old do, re, mi thing. That's how you find out which ones will work. And then you have... The dominant seventh, so back two frets. Okay. Okay. So again, E. So we're doing seven, nine, and eleven as far as your A string. Now I'm going to go 11, 12, 11, 7, I'm sorry, 9, and 7. Okay, so. That's kind of cool too. but it's always going to be skipping um, just the one fret and then do an octave above it okay you notice they went back and forth so you might just want to play the low string and then yet have you maybe you have you've heard them I'm sure okay so the formula here is if you're going forward you have your do re mi stuff so you're gonna start on the root E and double it with an octave above skip a string skip a fret go up two go up two go up one go up two up two. Now you can decide one or two. Okay, I would just go up the one. So if you want to write it down, cool. So you stay there on your root. Okay, your E. You can go up two frets, which is called a whole step. If you go up one fret, it's a half step. Okay, just for further notice, because you're going to need it. So, roots, and you go up two frets from there. One, two, don't start here and go one, two, because you only went up one. So, root, then up two, up two, now up one, up two, up two, up one. Okay, so it's always going to be two, two, one. Two, two, one. Okay? That's basically how you look at it when you're going upward. When you're going this way, it's downward. Some people will mistake it, but think about it. When you're playing a note, and you're going that way, the note is going down. It's not going up, it's going down, okay? So this is down the neck. This is up the neck, okay? If you want a note either way. Okay, so this here is a repeat of what we just did. So we can go to from the root back two frets, back one, back two. Now, in order to get any more, we have to go back two again, which is that, 
A and A, and then we just have back one, which is going to have to be this. We got to get rid of the low E. Um, so A now A flat is one fret because we were here or here. And then we just go back one fret, back two, back two. So the same thing as before, but simply starting at this place and going backward. So you have this, and then there's two, and there's one, then there's two, two, one, two, two, and you're right back. Octaves there. Okay? Now there's more to this. I would definitely need to show you, and then we'll um, just simply pick another place. Um, the simple fact that the B string is there. Um, this is going to wear you out. <laughs> okay, let's go to the D string. We're still going to be an E. D string, second fret is an E. Now the B string's tuned screwy. So we got to skip two frets now. And also, if we were playing anywhere else, like E here, you got to skip two frets. Okay, so everything up here, you got to skip two frets. But it sounds great up there. Okay, I'm going to get rid of my pick. I'm going to play the low E and then play the D string second fret, skip two frets and play fifth fret. It's going to be this way the whole time from here on up on this string and the other two strings, the G and the E. So. Five, six, five, since we're in E. I just went, here's the E, the one, and five, six, five. apply two skip two one okay two two one two <laughs> okay same rules but you're skipping two frets and again I showed you if you go low E and you have to grab a E on the G string it's gonna be all the way up here at the ninth fret Go to the high E at the 12. Okay, check out what I found here. The 5. This is where things get cool. Now we can go to the 5th, right above it. Again, was the low E, and then going from the D's, so your seventh, your major sevenths, not your major sevenths, your dominant sevenths. 
So these two, and you're kind of shutting up the D string, because then B power chord, A. So. But people can be. again from the B A is your 4 B is your 5 it's the whole scale all the way down octaves 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 are cool and try as I'm running out of this particular time. If you're in G, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, try. Now you change. Try to do your octaves so you can change positions when you get up here. cool things later um, whether you dig this or not but you'll have some chords that are really cool that I'll show you and other weird chords and other chords but these octaves will come and play like a whatever you're called to play. Um. are cooler than you think and uh, a lot of great um, alternative grunge all kinds of um, stuff has come out in the past 20 30 years and still coming out with tons of this stuff going on okay um, God, you got the idea they do that and so work on octaves work on it within with um, open notes Safety dance. 
We can dance if we want to. You leave your friends behind. And if they don't dance, they don't dance for no friend of mine. <laughs> Octaves, octaves, octaves in more ways than you could possibly <laughs> think, hope, or dare they could be. Okay, so there's lesson number 18. I'm going to throw lesson number 19 up and get them all uploaded for you. Alrighty, and you're like, why don't you take it to 20? Uh, I just do five lessons at a time, and the first one was an intro. So it kind of throws it all off. <laughs> okay, so lesson number 19 coming right up. Learn a lot of this stuff. It's a bunch of stuff. I know it is. It's all just part of it. I'm actually going backwards on the next video. I'll just surprise you. Okay? Be groovy. Be right back.